What's so. great about homeopathy for those that don't use it often, um, homeopathy remedies is to find the remedy that's closest to your symptoms. And there's no side effects with um, homeopathy. It either works or it doesn't. So it's a great thing to try. And if it works for you, if it's the right remedy for you, um, it can, it can work magic, but there's not, it's not like a, a pharmaceutical or even sometimes herbology um, that, you know, there are side effects with, with homeopathy there really isn't. So th they're great to give a shot to. So you talked about acupuncture um, and then we talked about low blood sugar. So eating something before you go to bed, that's high in protein and having something next to the bed that when you get up to pee, you can snack on. So yogurt, cheese, Dr. Stu often talks about peanut butter, um, a bite of a protein bar, things like that can really make a difference. Um, red raspberry leaf tea is great uh, all the time during your pregnancy. Some people think it starts labor, but that's not true. It's actually a uterine tonifier. So it's just for the health of your uterus, um, but can also sometimes help with um, nausea. Um, sparkling water with some lemon, step outside into the fresh air. Um, we talked about B6. You can take that before bed and you can also take um, ginger powder upon waking. So four or more gelatin caps with ginger powder when you wake up. Ginger tea is also really good. And um, there's a chewable papaya enzyme um, that I love. Don't do Tums. It's not really that great for your placenta. You'll often see calcification um, from doing Tums. So uh, the chewable papaya enzymes can be a really great replacement for that. And they taste good and you can have as many as you want. And then ketone, uh, isotonic liquid mineral, sometimes you're mineral deficient. So that's another one that you can look up and we used to sell it at the Eco Boutique. Um, that's a great one for that as well. Okay, I've got a few, a few others. Few, yeah, a few others. Um, uh, it says, drink a small cup of something warm or too hot before eating. So mm -hmm. before you take food in, maybe have some tea before you eat your, or your, your small meals. Avoid sudden movements. Get some fresh air. Yep. So if you're feeling in bed, like you can't get out of bed, at least go lay outside. <laughs> yeah. Get some air. Don't eat, don't eat large meals, obviously. If you're going to take your prenatal vitamin, take it before you go to bed, not in the morning. But I would recommend that you hold off if you're, if you're having a lot of nausea. Uh, and don't take your prenatal vitamin until the nausea is better, or at least get out of the first trimester. Because as Bliss said earlier, the prenatal vitamin is really not for your baby. The prenatal vitamin is for, to replenish for you because your baby's going to take from your body, your muscle, your bone, whatever it needs. 